What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We gotta go over Baby Doge today. We're just gonna talk about some technical analysis and pretty much talking about where Baby Doge is gonna go over next. And we also got a new partnership. So let's get straight to it. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice, but let's go straight over Baby Doge. Let's do it. So the first thing I wanna talk about here with Baby Doge is the pump that we kinda just had. And I know people are probably gonna say Baby Doge didn't pump. Oh look, we did go all the way down here to about 1257. And from that 1257 area here, you can see Baby Doge then climbed all the way up here to a whole peak of about 1323. Right now we're at 1309. So Baby Doge still has that potential to hit this resistance like I mentioned yesterday. So we broke that support like I also mentioned. And now you can see us hitting this 1250 support and now making our way right back up here to this 1350 resistance just like we predicted. So now when Baby Doge hits 1350 resistance, do you think Baby Doge is gonna pump or not? Let's talk about what it will do. So first thing is first. So look over here at the oscillator, you can see the buying that we're having right now. We are having some nice buying pressure. So that does indicate that we could break past this 1350 resistance. And you can also see over here though, 24 hour market control is in control by the players by 60%. So we are 60% bearish here, remember that. But we also have this supply and demand of less demand area here, which is pretty much our resistance. We have that area to pass, and then eventually we can get all the way up here to about 1524. So there is a possibility for Baby Doge to rise, but really we do need the Baby Doge swap to come out. You know, the actual version of the swap, the main net. We got the test net, but there are a lot of errors on the test net. We just need to get the main net out there. And then once we actually get the main net out there, I think Baby Doge has a huge possibility of just pumping huge after that so we need really really need to get the main net so anyways here is the test net i've been talking about this on all my videos but as you can see the test net does have some does have some you know errors here but there's not many errors to be honest when you look over here it does show insane amounts for total liquidity which we know we don't have all that liquidity there we know all of this is like a lot of errors here so we just gotta wait for it all to really come into fruition so just wait for all the errors to get dealt with and eventually the Baby Doge test net will be the main net. So just wait for the main net to come out. And like I said, there are some errors, but you know, you just gotta wait for that good stuff. But look, we got a lot of, a lot of other stuff to talk about with Baby Doge other than the errors on the test net, because obviously we know we don't have three, two, five, three point eighteen trillion dollars in liquidity. We don't have that much. <laughs> but anyways, let's talk about some more of the stuff going on with the Baby Doge technicals. So, as you can see here, we are slowly but surely going all the way up to 1350. But what happens when you look at it from the four hour chart? So looking at the four hour chart, it does show we're inside of this red area of less demand, kind of indicating that we might actually drop back down here to this 1250 support again. And if we hit that 1250 support, the bears might just you know take control more than 60% of the 24 hour market control, control and probably end up going down to 9Z9 if we do break that. So you definitely want to pair, prepare for that. But look, Baby Doge still has that possibility to pump. Not much has really changed with the technicals other than this area here that we talked about, about how we hit that 1250 support. So right now we're just waiting for us to hit this area here all the way up at a 1350 resistance. And, and that's when I'll be making another update video. So that will probably end up happening tomorrow. We'll probably end up hitting it there. And if we do get rejected at this 1350, then just expect for it to go back down to 1250 if we do get rejected. And if we don't get rejected, then I'm expecting it to go out to this resistance that we talked about at 1550. So that's what we got to look out for immediately with Baby Doge. Now, when it comes to Bitcoin, you can see that Bitcoin is kind of trying to do a little bit of a reversal here. You can see over here on the oscillator, we are a little bit overbought here on the oscillator. So you're seeing an overbought area. So you're going to start seeing selling coming after that. And you also see it's still bearish by 60%, kind of like Baby Doge. But the red area that we were in, which is less demand for Bitcoin, we just now turned that red area green, which indicates that there is...